it was one thing. When somebody asked her about price, she didn't know what to say. And she found that she always went low and then they'd be like, oh, well, we want to think about it. Well, she was the number one business book author of 2014. And when they called her to ask how much she was to speak, her fee was too low and it freaked her out. They're like, oh, maybe she's not a good speaker. So instead, I just taught her what specifically to say when they asked that question to get them to tell her their number. So Judy used to say in the past, she'd be like, uh, 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 in this number. Now, all she says is she says, well, when you picked up the phone to call me, knowing you know my, my credibility and knowing the kind of person that I am, you probably had a bit of an idea of, about what working with me would cost. What sort of idea of price did you have in mind? And the customer would throw it out first, smart. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. what, what happened was the customer would say, well, look, I know you probably charge more than this, but we really have a budget of about $20,000 and we really couldn't pay more than that. And she's gone like, it's four yeah. times what she was charging. <laughs> four times. Four times what she was charging at the time. Now she's she, like, I love you, Matthew Pollard. Thank you so much. Well, now she charges a lot more. She, but she also had questions, and that's why it's important to understand the process. She's like, well, what if they don't do that? I said, well, what other options do you think they would say? Well, you're going to have two other groups of people. One group that says, I don't know. Now, that's a very different statement. Saying I don't know means I'm not the decision maker. So you then need to understand what the sales, what the process of them buying is. So you now ask more detailed questions and you coach them around finding out what the budget is. Because you can say something like, well, I have different services that I do depending on your budget. So it's important before we get to the point of making a proposal that we're making the right proposal. So tell me a little bit about the steps about how you would go through the approval process. And generally that leads to actually speaking to the decision maker instead of, the secretary that's probably made the phone call. And then you've got the third group of people that's like, no, I really just need to know the price. And that's the group that you tell. But that's such a small group of the, the overall population. It, you know, I think every time I've tried it, I may have had that come up maybe twice. Because if you've done the first steps right, then you're fine. And I think that that's one of the things that people miss with a sales process. 